Uh, rolling action. All right, hello again, everybody. This, as everybody knows, is Posey Parker. She hello. is um, standingforwomen.com. Everybody, please visit it. Who believes in uh, the female gender, basically? And that, as we all know on Soko, God made man and he made them male and female. So, I just wanted to have a quick like debrief because it's been lunacy today, literally, like on all sides, like open air asylum type stuff. So, Posey, are you used to this yet? And when are you going to just stop terrorizing these poor victims? Probably never. Um, am I used to it? I, yeah, I think actually it's really useful. Um, so if you t so basically we're talking and then Black Lives Matter go marching and they Black Lives Matter has very swiftly turned from centering Black Lives, which I don't actually believe ever centered Black women uh, or children, and it's switched into trans Black Trans Lives Matter, and so that's like a fundamental aim of the movement. And so they were just walking past and then we started shouting trans women are men and <laughs> in a non provocative manner obviously. <laughs> um, and it it's really interesting how these people feel because I think they're actually trapped in a cult, that they feel that by any means necessary to shut women up. So that will include, they will, they will frame our words as violent so they can literally be violent. So they did, they kicked a few people in our crowd, they pushed quite a lot of people, someone stole one of my signs. Um, and I actually think that sort of thing then shows the, the rest of the country who are kind of meekly just going, oh, it's not great. Uh, it shows them really what we're up against, which is a really phenomenal enemy against women's rights and children's bodies. Okay, so what I'd add to that is you may you may have seen Posey on the mainstream, but then again you may not have. If you rely on not paying a TV licence, which you all shouldn't, um, including pensioners, please God don't do it. I'd love to see you all in court, um, literally. Um, and also, by the way, women, the majority of female offenders are in prison for uh, TV license evasion. You couldn't make it up. So then they're convicted criminals. Um, like nobody actually cares what your offense is by the time you get to a job interview or a mortgage application. So you may not see this stuff on the mainstream. The bottom line is, as we all know again, like women are women. I gave a little tiny uh, speech for Posey's um, like videos and organization, but I'll just say it again and you may understand me or you may not, the testicular fortitude of these ladies who say that they want to be ladies, but they're other uh, female-born humans. Um, it's hateful to say that only women get cervical cancer, for example. You may not have got the memo. I did and immediately threw it in the bin. Um, so I can't swear, <laughs> I can, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Um, like, please consider your daughters, your sisters, your aunties, your grandmother. Come on, your elderly grandmother is a woman. There is no, like, no. If she wanted to be called Henry tomorrow, she is still a woman. If she had some hugely dramatic um, physical surgery, which didn't reduce her potential for suicide, as a body dysmorphic transgender person, she would unfortunately, Grandma, still be a woman. And more um, importantly, yeah. with the grand talking about your grandmothers, this is really important. That what she can no longer do, if men can just identify as women, she can no longer ask for somebody who comes in her home to take care of her because she can't take care of herself anymore. She can't insist on a woman and guarantee that she gets a female. She can't do that anymore. She can't be on a hospital ward and guarantee that there isn't a man calling himself a woman in the next because she's in the a next bigot. bed. Obviously, and, bigoted. And it's, you know, this is this is impact. So somebody calls it death by a thousand cuts. That's pretty much what's happening to women's rights. It's tiny little incremental changes. Soon, for the, the Muslims that gather here, it's going to be bigoted and wrong for them to stop a man in a hijab sitting on the wrong side of the mosque. Yep. So it's going to it's going to hit everyone. It's going to be in your kids' schools. Please, if you haven't done it already, ask for a copy of what your kids are learning in PSHE and RSE. It's fundamental that you do this. I mean, you and I have different ideas about religion, but this is a new religion that you can't object to. You can stop probably your kids learning about certain faiths. You can stop that. You can't stop them learning that trans women are women and it's possible to change your biological sex. You can't stop it. So just another uh, quick couple of thoughts. Um, if a man decides to become um, a man who no longer has a penis and has a constructed vagina um, surgically, 
he still has the same bone density and the same DNA that he was born with. If he then chooses potentially to become an MMA fighter, he is battering women. Like there's no other way around it. He's obviously going to win because he is stronger. Like there's nothing sexist about saying that men are typically stronger physically Bad than women. Not emotionally, I dad, but then I'm a sexist, racist figure, obviously. So like, yeah, little girls, and little boys. There's a six-year-old boy at the moment in America who the court has deemed that his mother has the right to make him into a girl yeah. um, against his father's wishes and against his express wishes. He's a six-year-old boy. Like when I was six, I thought I was an astronaut for a whole week. Um, my mother didn't phone NASA. Um, what? I know, she's a bigot, <laughs> a racist. Mum, call yourself a Christian. Anyway, the point is that children, like even if this child wanted to be a girl, he's a child and that's why we don't give children the rights that we give to adults and unfortunately um, like I'm not the first one to come out in support of Islam or Judaism really or any other religion but most of the major world religions recognize that there are gods and goddesses men and women uh, male and female and to say that there are 73 genders to go by what Facebook says please people it's pictures of dinner and it's like all nonsense really and like the algorithms are manipulated and there are echo chambers of far left like dodgy people so please do consider your own sex and thank god for it if you are um, a theist because it was given to you for a reason and you function better in society as you as god plans for you and even if you're an atheist, listen to science up until about 15 years ago when we all knew <laughs> where we stood. Because science, again, Captain. is manipulated and like the consensus of climate scientists, like potentially 70 geezers or women. I'm not sexist. Yeah, feminism was feminism, then it was second wave and now it's hateful to uh, put the word woman into cervical screening literature. So potentially there are women who are not having their smear test because it's hate speech. I don't even know where it ends. Except in Canada, oh. where there is a special cervical screen, uh, cancer page for trans women. Where are you going to keep the fetus? In a box? <laughs> the life of Brian has come true, people. I only said that fish was good enough for Jehovah. Like, I don't deserve to be stoned for it. I just don't know what's happening. There's an emperor somewhere with no clothes on, potentially testicles, and someone's saying what a lovely lady he is. So, like, in all seriousness, they're our children. Like, even those of you who are childless, they are our children as a society. We don't want them being married off to adult men. We don't want them being sexualized and abused because it's abuse to teach a child something that's unnatural. There are, like, there's a tiny little drag queen in America who's, like, dancing provocatively for men and getting money and everyone thinks it's a hoot. There are women jumping up in defense of drag queens. The NSPCC, the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, you can make it up, has partnered with Drag Queen Story Hour UK, which is a lot of people with testicles and big eyelashes teaching them about gender in public libraries. And when the same thing happened in Canada and Dory Love, who, God bless him, went in and rebuked them biblically, all of the mothers turned on him rather than the big dude in the makeup who had like potentially, you know, small children like eating up their every word. So Twitter also has come out and said that if paedophiles want to talk about underage attraction and they're not breaking the law, they are free to do so. If they want nude pictures of children, as long as they're artistic and maybe in the style of Raphael, I don't know, that's also okay. It's really not okay. Um, come to parlour instead. We'll look after you. Like just don't give your money or your time to organisations who promote paedophilia. Yeah. If nothing else, if you want to, like if a man wants to call himself Susan on a Wednesday, good luck to him, God bless him. I hope he, like I don't mind, really. I'm not knocking on doors, like checking people's bedrooms or their lingerie, like uh, drawers. But in public, Twitter is a recognised and trusted source of information. And if they promote actively paedophilia, please do leave them um, and encourage your friends also to do so. And I'll give you the last word to you. Keep following what's going on in your own sphere. Don't stop talking. And I have to That's it. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.